You guys made it. Generator power in the store. That's right. Drive zone. Come on back. Woo! You know what I'm here for? A three foot net. A three foot net. It's just a little dark in here though. We gotta flip the lights on. There we go. Sean, you've outdone yourself. All right, I said I wouldn't do it, but we're going back to the inlet again and it's rough, but we're gonna see what we can find. Inlet is still closed, so we got a long walk ahead of us. One of my buddies works in the park. He said there's someone fishing it right there now and there is a little bit of bait there, so we're gonna give it a shot. This is Chris, aka Chris. He is he is in charge of everything today. He's gonna show us what's up. We're gonna slay it. He's gonna, he's gonna slay it. Doing some work. What kind of rod did you bring? Uh, eight foot jigger bait with a ten foot catch power head on it. Uh, primarily, we're gonna have some uh, banana burger salmon today. So Chris doesn't fish, there. but. There ain't a whole lot going on. He doesn't have power at his house still, or AC, or phones, or anything. So he's not really that busy. And it's like 90 degrees out, so he doesn't feel like doing the yard work. So he's gonna come down there. I'm gonna try to catch some bait. I wish I only brought one rod with me, but uh, we'll try to get him on something too. And hopefully it's not too rough. So we'll be back out there. We got a long walk ahead of us. I might film a little bit on the walk and show you whatever's washing up on the beach this time. We'll see you soon. Just hits the water. See how long it takes before Chris gets a snook. Come on. It's not gonna take long. We're down the beach and they're chewing. They're all little now. Spit it right there. Need a lighter rod. There you go. It's a little bit better fish. Keep his head down. Keep jumping and throwing the hook. Come on, Snooky. You're biting so fast. There he goes, fits it right there. And change it out for a mangrove seed. Alright, got a couple more mullet. Throw this big one out first big for what we're catching today. We should be able to turn him into a nice snook. Alright. It's close to being a keeper. A little short, he's like 27, 26.
Come on, Snook. Come on. Come down. Come down. All right, you're just gonna swim away. Snoop. Here, come take this one. Let's go nice and easy with them. You want to pump up and then reel down. Nice and slow. And don't let the guys just try. sure your hook does not come out. Look at that. The hook is through the mouth and then wrapped around the line. Hold that for a second. Same fish. These little ones, they stink because they're so green when you catch them. They're not like tired at all. Maybe a jack though, but just keep the rod bent just like we were. Oh, 
lot bigger jack, just keep walking. Jackfish! Just open up the bale and let some line out. giants today but got my buddy on a couple fish and pretty sure that was his first fish or first snook first jack and that one snook was like right there if I had a real measuring uh, like a board to put him on he might have been 28 but I have I have 32 marked on my rod so I know that spot I never have to really measure I mean, we don't really get that many fish at the bottom of the slot most of the time it's too big not too small uh, a lot of fun though catching those little fish. I might go out tomorrow and use a lighter setup, maybe something like that 4000 on a lot more of a flexible rod. You should be able to feel them a lot better and I won't be losing as many fish to them jumping off. It was just too big of waves and too light of fish and light of bait to be using what I, had, what I was using today. Um, so check back in. Hopefully I'll get another video up real soon. Later.